Who's it going to be for TV spokesmodel? We'll find out at the end of the show. Right now, I'd like to tell Michael Jackson, Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers, and my favorites, Shabadoo, to move over, because here comes the Star Search dance competition. First up, after one victory last week from Los Angeles and Chicago, our champs, Crescendo and Diamond. <laughs> When you're four foot five hip, hip. Hip, hip. Now don't you be that kickaroo Get hip, come on, and follow through When you get your steady food Met your jump like it'll do Jim, jump, 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 jump Makes you like your eggs on the Jersey side hip, hip. Hip, hip. Jim, jump, 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 jump Makes you hip, hip on the mellow side You like your eggs on the Jersey side. Hip, hip. Hip, hip. The Jim Champ jumping job makes you hip hip on the mellow side. Hip, hip. I know you dug this mellow jive, cause you dig it on the mellow side. Thank you, Crescendo and Diamond. We'll see the ratings in a moment. Your dance challengers got together doing ballroom dancing at USC and have been dancing ever since. From Los Angeles, here are Bernard Sabalos and Marlon Benizi. <laughs> Champions, Crescendo and Diamond receive three and a quarter stars. Their challengers, Bernard and Marilyn, receive three and a quarter stars. We have a tie. That means at the end of the show, our studio audience, by secret ballot, will have to break that tie. Congratulations to both of you. Hello. Right back with Pamela Bellwood from the hit series Dynasty and the acting competition. So stay with us. Once, had her child stolen, her husband was killed, and that was just the beginning of the story. It's what happened to that beautiful lady she plays on the hit series Dynasty. Would you help me welcome the lovely Pamela Bellwood? <laughs> Such a pleasure to have you here with us. 
You heard me list all the things that have happened to you just so far on that series. What a way to talk about a new friend. <laughs> <laughs> we are looking for first big breaks here tonight. How did you get yours? Actually, I was going to um, school at the Neighborhood Playhouse, and uh, you were never allowed to go out on auditions, and I was going out on auditions all the time, and I got a job in a Broadway show, and they wanted to throw me out of school, and I said, but that's what we're here for, is to get these kinds of jobs, and they said, yes, but two years from now, not now. So I left, and I went into Broadway right away. All right, let's bring out our actors and actresses. Bring them on stage. I'd like you to introduce our champion and their challengers. You're returning for our lady, leading lady champion is... From Tupelo. I don't know why she was born in Tupelo, but that's where she's from. Her mother was going through there at the time. And her name is Becky Bush. Hi, Becky. Hi, Becky. Hi. Her challenger is from Chicago, Illinois. And here's Cindy Lee Holmes. They seem to be dressed for this part. Introduce the men. <laughs> The champion is going for win number two tonight. He's from New York City, James Elbert. Hi, James. Welcome back. Hi, congratulations. His challenger is from East Hanover, New Jersey. Welcome, Mike Craven. Mark, how are you? Welcome. These are our champions. The champions will perform first, then the challengers. Let me point out that the judges judge each actor, actress, individually in their own individual performance. That's how the scoring is done. Okay, you the challengers start, the champions start, rather, and then the challengers will be out. Okay, Pamela, set the scene. Well, here's the scene. Your champions are playing two young lovers, reunited the night before. The setting is his apartment the morning after. Once again, Becky Bush and James Elbert in part one of The Misunderstanding. What? Arnold, what are you doing? Oh, sweetheart, uh, I have to go. I'm sorry. Oh, please, Arnold, do you have to go out? Running into you again at that party last night was fake. I know, Lisa, it's too bad, but I've got to go. Oh, oh. <laughs> Why are you so cold? Last night, you yeah, were... Yeah, it was great. <laughs> that was some party. <laughs> I was as sloshed as you, and that's saying a lot. Oh, oh. Arnold? Arnold, why are you running around so fast? Uh, willpower, I guess. Oh. I wish I had some last night. Mm. I, uh... <laughs> I've got to go to a wedding this morning. A wedding? Can I go? No, no, no. It's my best friend's wedding. It's kind of an intimate thing, you know? Just family and friends. You understand. Look. I'm going to go freshen up, and I'll be right back. <laughs> Hello! Oh, darling, uh, I was just going to call you. Well, of course I sound nervous. Who wouldn't be nervous on their wedding day? Uh, of course I love you. You're the only woman in the world for me. <laughs> I won't. I won't be late for my own wedding. Arnold! Uh, well, yeah, I'll see you later. Yeah, same here. Bye-bye. Arnold, what was that? That? Uh, nothing. Uh, that was my friend, you know, the one who's getting married. He's nervous. Sounds like you and your friend are a lot alike. Yeah, I just hope he makes it through the day alive. <laughs> The judges are voting right now, each on each individual performance of our actors. Now you'll set the continuing of the scene. Now the scene continues with the challengers, portraying the same characters a very few moments later. Here's leading lady Cindy Lee Holmes and leading man Mark Craven in part two of The Misunderstanding. Lisa, how could you think that? I just said you ought to be getting going, that's all. You're up to something. I mean, last night you were so wonderful. And now you're trying to hustle me out of here? I know what's going on, Arnold. You're, you're afraid of what I make you feel. You love me, don't you? Well, yes, but I really don't think we're that's... We're made for each other. Oh, Lisa, it's been great. But made for each other? Come on. I'm the woman that, that you're going to marry. I mean, I know that. I mean, it was fate that we meet last night at the party. I mean, I feel it. You're never going to be able to leave me again, Arnold. Oh, are you kidding? I can leave you anytime I want oh. to. No, cut it out. I can, too. You don't believe me? Okay. Okay. 
We were together last night, but I'm getting married today and not to you. Oh, quit it. That's not even funny, Arnold. No, but it's true. Don't. Don't look at me like that. Oh, no, don't cry. You know I can't take it. Look, it was my last night of freedom. I was slosh. I'm getting married today, and you're crying. How can this be happening to me? Happening to you? To you? I will kill you for this. I'll kill her. No, no, you. You creep. I will get you for this. Look, Lisa. I give this marriage six months to a year, tops. <laughs> I am sure to be fooling around long before that. It could be worse. Don't hate me, honey. I didn't mean it. By the way, sweetheart, could you make sure the door locks behind you when you leave? Well, you understand. Well, <laughs> gotta go. Sorry. Bye. All right. Oh. <laughs> you really get wrapped up in that scene. She was so mad at you guys. <laughs> he had All right. Back. I was going to go out and hit you. <laughs> now, let's see who our leading lady champion will be. The judges give our champion, Becky Bush. Three and a quarter stars. Her challenger, Cindy Lee Holmes, gets two and three quarter stars. Thank you, Bush. Is our winner. The champion, James Elder, receives three and a quarter stars. The challenger, Mark Craven, receives two and three quarter stars. All right, ladies and gentlemen, how about a nice hand for this lovely lady, Pamela Bellwood. Hello. Star Search 85 will continue with the male vocalist competition and the result in the TV spokesmodel category right after a few important messages. The judges are voting. Here is your challenger, a singer-musician from Aurora, Illinois, Jim Gibson. Who knows what tomorrow brings in a world far away? All I know is here and now. Oh, the 
Champion Steve Michaels receives from the judges three and a quarter stars. Jim Gibson receives three stars. All right. Congratulations again. You've done it again. How does everybody feel in Houston about this? Well, uh, there's a lot of people calling in and thanking me and thanking me. I'm thanking you. That's all right. <laughs> I get a little nervous. That's okay. But you'll be back next week. Okay. Congratulations again. Okay, next, the TV's post-model voting. But first, here's some information you've been waiting for. Truth, we've seen them and heard them. Two beautiful and talented ladies. Unfortunately, only one can remain with us as TV spokesmodel champion. Who's it going to be, judges? Our champion, Anna Lee. Or her challenger, Hella Highbear. The judges give Anna Lee... Two and three quarter stars, her challenger, Hella Hyper, receives two. Another tie! Woo! What a night! Oh. oh, boy. All right, the audience is going to be very busy. Don't move. We'll be right back. I was in the dance competition. Our studio audience voted by secret ballot. Crescendo and Diamond, Marilyn and Bernard. Let's see what the studio says. Champions again, Crescendo and Diamond! Woo! 